Okay, I know I haven't made a video tutorial in a really long time, but uh, it's because I've been busy. I built my new computer, which I'm using right now, and uh, other things. But uh, anyway, this tutorial is going to go over uh, over how to play a game off a CD using DOSBox. Because I knew I, I, I know I said I'd make a tutorial on that first. So first put your CD in your CD-ROM drive. And then, uh, then go ahead and go to start. My computer. I already had it open down there. And then go to your hard drive and create a new folder. I'm going to call my folder, uh, I'm just going to call it game or something. This is where we're going to be installing our game. So we're going to mount that folder on our hard drive. Okay, now go ahead and open up DOSBox. Okay, now first thing we need to do is mount our uh, CD drive in DOSBox, and we do that a little bit different than mounting a hard drive. We uh, type mount, uh, and then my CD drive is is F, so we I'm going to put mount, whoops, mount F, space F, colon, de a slash, and then I put uh, space hyphen T, and then CD-ROM. So just put this exact thing. It'll probably even in the video description. Then click enter, and then it says that it uh, that it that drive F is mounted as a CD-ROM drive. So now our CD-ROM drive is mounted. That's just gonna make it that because if I didn't do that, then when I install the game, it would say insert the CD the CD or whatever. So <clears throat> we need to do that first. Okay, now we're gonna actually mount the hard drive, which as you've noticed before. I put it on my E drive in a folder called game. So now I'm going to go ahead and mount. Uh, <clears throat> so now we're going to mount the hard drive, which would be. Now we type mount. And I'm going to mount it as C, so it's going to be calling the drive C because uh, they always use for default paths in games, they always use the C drive. So the program's going to be calling it C, but like virtually, but physically it's going to be drive E. It's whatever drive you made that folder in. See, I made mine E. But yours might be in another drive, so just put whatever drive it's that says that your folder is in. So then I'm gonna put E, E, and then I'm then uh, it's in games. Then it's E dash game. So now uh, it just it just uh, mounted E dash game. So it's this is this folder is being used as my hard drive virtually now. So then I'll type C colon into it, so then it brings me to that uh, path name on uh, in the emulator, because <clears throat> this is my virtual C drive now. Now, if I type dir, it'll open up this everything that's in that directory, and all that was in that directory was uh, I don't think anything was in that directory actually. Yeah, nothing is in that directory. Just looked over it here. Nothing's here. I just wanted to show you that there's nothing in there. Okay, now let's go ahead and go to our F drive, which is where our CD is, obviously. Now let's type DIR, and then I'll come with all, the, with all this crap. This is just exploring my CD. We want to use this setup, setup.exe. Yours might say install.exe or something, but you should be able to figure it out. It'll say either install or setup or something. We want to open that, so I'm going to type setup, and then click enter. Now it's going to open up my... Uh, my red alert installation thing. This is like the most graphically intense setup I've ever seen in my entire life, like seriously. So it's gonna take a second. I might just edit part of this out or something. Anyway, first we have to choose our sound card. I'm just gonna go with the Sound Blaster Pro, because basically these are just emulated sound cards, because you're. or sound drivers. But, uh, because your sound driver isn't compatible with this older of a game, so DOSBox emulates it for you. I'm just going to choose Sound Blaster because that's pretty good, that's fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Save because I already know that that works. Your setup's obviously going to look differently, but you should be able to figure out how to do it. Just look at what I'm doing. Then I'll just go ahead and click Test because it wants to test my sound. And then the sound scares me half to death every time because it's so abrupt. You can't actually hear the sound because it's recording my microphone right now. But <clears throat> my sound is now working. The reason why I'm not just installing this using that patch on XP is because the sound doesn't work very well then. 
yes, this information is correct. Now it's talking to me. Okay, now it's saying that it's going to install it in my C directory, which is virtually my game directory in the E thing. So now it's going to make a new folder, Red Alert, and uh, Westwood or whatever. Yes, I want to install it there. There we go, it's installing now. It's just going to install this on my, on, my, on my E drive in the game folder right here. Because that was where... Uh, right here because this is where um because this is where I mounted remember I mounted uh I mounted e game so it's treating e game as my hard drive I already explained that but I like to over explain things because I'm weird okay it's done installing it used to take like ages for that to happen was free and press any key and I'll keep going and it gives me this weird message that comes from everything Conquers the past. Now it just freezes out the please stand by thing because it can't figure out what to do, so I'm just going to press Alt Tab and exit out of this completely. Now, if you notice in my game fi fo folder from before, there's Westwood, Red Alert, and all the game files. So we're, uh, we're pretty good with that. <clears throat> okay, now let's run the game. I'm not to re I didn't make a batch file. You can make a batch file for whatever for this, or or just type it in every time because I'm not going to show you how to do that. So we're gonna have to remount the CD drive again. So then just mount F F dash uh, hyphen T CD ROM, and then uh, <coughs> mount uh, mount C E dash game, and then and then we're gonna type C colon after after you mount the hard drive and the CD drive, we're going to type C colon to change that to our directory, and type dir, and that comes up with our Westwood directory, which just got created. Yours isn't going to be called Westwood, it'll be called whatever company you made the game you're using, or whatever. Then we're going to type CD for change directory, and then I'm going to type Westwood, because that's where I want to go. So now I'm in the C Westwood directory, and if I type DIR again, then there's another one called Red Alert in that which I think you've, I showed you before, so then we're going to put CD for change directory to red alert, and click enter, now I'm in the red alert directory, and I'm going to type DIR, DIR again to see what's in this directory, and then uh, I want to run, run game.exe. <coughs> Yours might be something different, like, uh, I don't know, you should be able to figure out which, whichever one it is. It'll be like run.exe, or, or the name of like, or the name of the program, .exe, whatever, just figure out which one it is, you should be able to figure it out, because, I mean, it says run game, for God's sake, so, so, it should say something similar to run game, or the name of the program, .exe, so I'm going to go ahead and type in run, run game, and then click enter, and it comes up with that, and, and here we go, it's starting in the game. It might take a little while to start because it's obviously running it through an emulator and not directly through a computer. But this is the game. It plays this live action thing because it's Command and Conquer. Okay, so anyway, anyway, this uh, this tutorial should help you if you want to know how to run your old games off CDs, or you can also do it with floppy disks. But uh, your command parameters are a little bit different than uh, the CD-ROM drive one. Just go to the DOSBox main site and go to the FAQ and you might be able to figure it out. It should be similar to this if it's on a floppy, but it won't be the same because it's different. But this is for running off CDs, okay? But it might help you with other things too. So anyway, if you want to run games off a CD, just follow this tutorial. You're going to have to change things a little bit because it's a different game, obviously. But other than that, you should be set up pretty well. You should be able to do it because you're not, you're not that stupid, right? You can do it. I know you can. It's not that hard. Okay, so anyway, bye. Thank <laughs> you.